I'm gonna share four different softwares that are really helpful in finding research articles and then being able to organize those research articles. And I will have links to all of these softwares down below. And if you actually want the tutorial of walking through how to use all of these softwares together and link them together, consider joining my Research Mastery Academy. It's going to be open this week and it helps you by giving you tutorials on actual processes to become more efficient in your research. That link will be available in the description below. The very first software I would start out would be illicit.org. Elicit.org will allow you to input a topic or a research question, and then it will actually search for articles that could answer your research question or are related to your topic. You can then generate a table with a lot of different information about that research article, especially related to the specific question that you asked, or even things like the organism or population that that research article used. You can always export these tables out to be able to compare and contrast them outside of Elicit's program. Elicit's going to overall help you find relevant research articles to the lit review you're trying to create. You can also use it to help narrow your topic down. If you put in a research article and it's really, really broad, you can kind of focus on what a different theme might be and narrow your topic down. The second software that I would recommend using is ResearchRabbit. ResearchRabbit is a free software that allows you to find similar papers to certain papers that you're interested in, and you can even view these papers as a network analysis or in a timeline view to see how they all connect between each other. You can use this to find more relevant research papers or even identify the different themes using the network analysis tool. Overall, ResearchRabbit is going to be really helpful in just identifying the papers you might want to include, identifying the different themes that are available, and it's really nice that ResearchRabbit actually syncs with our next tool, which is Zotero, which can help you organize these research papers. So the third tool, obviously, is Zotero. Zotero is a citation management system that allows you to input in your different research papers, either just as the citation information or even as a PDF and store your PDFs within Zotero. Within Zotero, you can tag your different articles, you can leave notes on your PDFs, and other things that allows you to be able to organize these different papers that you might have for your literature review. And then finally, the fourth tool that I have that is also about organizing your research articles is Notion. I've done multiple different tutorials on organizing research articles in Notion, and I will leave those down below as well. Overall, Notion is basically a database system that allows you to take notes and organize your different research articles and even organize them within the paper you're trying to create so that you can kind of outline out your paper, what, what articles fall under different themes, and what articles are you going to talk about at different times. Now, if you want to connect all four of those together, remember you can consider joining my Research Mastery Academy where I released a tutorial this month specifically on how to connect all of those together to get a seamless process to work through. The fifth bonus tool to use for your literature review is actually lateral.ai. And if you want to check out how to use that tool, you can see this video right here. And if you want to check out more about ResearchRabbit and how to use it for a literature review, check out this video here. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more techniques and tools on how to become a more efficient researcher. And I hope to see you in the next video.